Kazani's community is very, uh, it's a community that, uh, they're like they're a family. They're loving people. Everything's then Kasani. When we need something to eat, we can go to the river to fish. And then um, if there's a problem of water shortage, we don't complain as such. Yeah, we just go to the river and fetch some water. What makes Kasani Kasani is the kind of nature here. The, 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 the wild animals, the river, the, 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 the community, they understand their environment very well. Most of the kids here, what they do after schooling, they venture into tourism. Some are doctors. But most, I could say maybe, uh, was 70%, they are rooming around. Tourism is it's not that enough. It's not. If tourism was enough, I think they were going to hire more people. But to me, it's not enough. I became a teacher because I was looking at my society or the village I, was, um, I come from. So most of the teachers when I grew up there, they were from southern part of Bhutan. No, like a teacher from my area. And I liked working with kids. To that I grew up liking children. Children are very easy to, to, to interact with. You learn so many things when you are with children. They are, you know, so sweet. They can talk. You can read them. They tell you stories. You can know. You can know that child's background just through talking with that child. The reason why I like teaching most is that um, I like paving life for young ones. And then that way, you try to share with them the life skills. You try to pave their way for them to be responsible um, citizens. In our school, we feed 890 students. We feed them breakfast, tea break, lunch at quarter past one. When they're in school, we see to eat that they eat properly. Uh, there's no bullying. We protect their lives here. Um, they should live a healthy, normal life like any kid who is uh, taken care of by their parents at home. The issues that we are facing here with our children, our children is they, they become teen mothers at an early age. They drop up from school. Others, they practice prostitution. We have that area in Kazungula, where some trucks pack, where you'll find that the most ladies, they practice prostitution there. And then, you know, kids are kids, and teenagers, teenagers they'll try to copy. Because one of the kids that we had uh, this term, when we followed, we made a follow-up, we found that some ladies who stay there were rent in the house, in their compound, they are prostitutes. And then these young girls, they started also going out. Hey, those trucks are many because they come in big numbers. Our children, when they, see, when they go that side, they are offered, they are prices. You take me on this one, I give you this much. To them, it's, it's work. They see it as work. They go there. Fending it for themselves, but not knowing the, the outcome of doing that. With our kids, they, they are being cautioned and they are made aware of these animals, their movements, how to fend for themselves, and how they, they, they even know how it reacts when it's angry. That's why I keep on hearing that certain, maybe in a month, two people have been killed. By, by elephants, just a threat to our lives.
that's why I say like sometimes you just put your life in God's hands. You'll never know where will you reach where you are going when you are working. Recently, Plateau Primary they changed their time for school in the morning. They used to go there. The school started. It used to start at half seven, but they moved to half eight. Why? Because it was reported that um, there were some lions in that mini bush, in that mini park. And young ones are the ones, those school going kids are the ones who saw the, those uh, lions and they reported to their school heads. To me, I'll say that conservation, animal conservation is protecting animal life more than human life. In our country, the law, when you kill an animal, you are in, in for it. What IGA does that it equips learners with life skills. Why? Because uh, we feel that this is the stage whereby learners they need to be uh, empowered with those skills. We come up with these topics because we are looking at our community, the burning issues. It brought an insight to our learners in many things that they are not aware of. We managed to have some field trips. Some of them, it was the first time to see such things that they really exist, exist in life. Hence, I'll say that it was a blessing to our students and also to the community of this area to have such a project. I hope and wish that those uh, kids are, or those who grow up around this area, they should continue with their education by uh, opening their eyes to benchmark in other areas. They should look at opportunities. What can they do to um, improve their lifestyles? Let me say, the truth be I never get tired of children. Yes, I'm at school with children, I'm home with children. I teach almost every day, every night. I never get tired. I, I would say I'll, I get tired when I go to bed. That's when I get tired. <laughs>